This is my Brava 380 I call Pebbles. Uh, since recently I've been experimenting with doing video reviews for some of my reviews, I decided to add a video here uh, showing Pebbles in all her glory. I, this is uh, over a year later. It's now December 2014 from when I originally wrote my uh, my November 2013 review of, of the Brava. I still uh, really like this this iRobot uh, and again like I said in my written review I, I've been a fan of the iRobot series since uh, purchasing the 300 series scheduler uh, which I've had now for seven years and he's still going strong uh, and Pebbles here has been going strong as well we we use her here weekly on the floors uh, and, and she's done the job at, at regular maintenance on our our hardwood floors that are in the kitchen and hallway um, like I said in my written review uh, you know Pebbles is meant to be kind of an alternative to the scuba which is more of a wet mopping type of, of robot I have the scuba but after moving from my old home to the one we're in now I couldn't use uh, the scuba on the type of flooring I have. The scuba is more meant for like linoleum or or, or tile floors versus uh, you know hard, hardwood or engineered floors that you can't really get too wet. Uh, you know the Brava here is more for a, a you know a, like a damp mop a type of thing or even dry mopping. Um, so you know I wouldn't recommend scuba again for like wood laminate type flooring. Uh, it's not really meant for that because it really just gets the floors too wet. Uh, but again, I really like this Brava. It's, it, it, you know, it's not gonna be, it's not the type of device that's gonna like scrub really, really, really dirty floors. Uh, this is meant as a like a weekly maintenance type of of cleaning device, similar to what the iRobot uh, vacuums are designed to do. I I would never assume my iRobot uh, vacuum is going to replace you know a full-size vacuum but it is good for weekly maintenance and, and keeping the floors uh, relatively clean um, you know so uh, again you know for the the Brava here as I explained in my written review has the ability to do a wet and damp mop and I'm not going to show any video of it in action because you can pull that up on the online anyway. I just kind of wanted to add this video as a supplement to my original written review to kind of show you some of the things that that the Brava has and how to, how to properly use Brava. So you've got Brava comes with a the the dry mop uh, pad and a, and a wet mop pad, and then it comes with the cloth, uh, a, the blue wet mop and the white dry mop and you can buy additional ones of these uh, online as well because you may especially for the wet mop ones here you may need a couple of these because as you can tell over time they get a little stained and dirty um, with the with the dry mop it's relatively simple you you, you just basically you got the, the little grips here you take the, the towel put it in the grips really good and then it magnetizes, then it magnetizes to the to the Brava on the other side here, which I can turn around and show Pebbles backside, I guess. Uh, but just basically, it magnetizes onto the onto the uh, magnetized little uh, little holders there on the other side. For the wet mop, the damping mop, of course, you have to put solution with a mixture of water in in here. This pops up. Uh, it's also good to kind of dampen in this little little wick here on the bottom, and with the blue cloth, you kind of you have to make sure you get that nice and damp too. And again, it this one the difference is that it velcros on, and and you know velcros on just like that, and it goes on the same as onto the back of the Brava as well. What we typically do to get the most best effect out of using pebbles is we dry mop first with, with pebbles, let her dry mop the whole floor. Uh, if you have any kind of 
heavy particles on the floor, it might also be good to kind of do a light sweep as well. But typically, we, we dry mop first, let pebbles dry mop, move the cube from place to place. And that's what my one real gripe is I kind of like the old way the, 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 the our robots work versus the with this GPS cube. I mean, it works okay. I just kind of prefer the other way. But anyway, so you move the cube, you know, cube from place to place if you have a large room. Uh, and again, make sure you kind of, you have flat ceilings. If you don't, you may have issues with rival working properly. And then after that, we use the damp mop part of it and have Bravo go over the same areas that we dry mopped. And with doing that weekly, it's been very effective and, and keeps the floors pretty, pretty clean. Again, like I said, it's, it's meant to be a maintenance type of thing, a maintenance cleaner as opposed to like if you have really, really bad floors, uh, yeah, it, you know, you kind of got to pre, you do a clean and then let Brava weekly clean up for you. Or if you want to do it more often than that, uh, as well, you can do that too. Um, but again, we still like Brava. I, I like Pebbles. Pebbles is great. Uh, we use her weekly. And I'm still a fan of these robots. I think they're great. Uh, if you have smaller rooms, I mean the, maybe the smaller 320 uh, will be, uh, you know, for you. Uh, again, if you have tile or linoleum and you prefer more of a, a scrubbing mop, then the scuba might be, uh, you know, the way to go. Uh, we use the the our robot vacuum more for carpets and and use this Brava, of course, for dry mopping on our hardwood floor, our engineer floors, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to update this. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, you're welcome to, to message me. I'll try to ha answer any questions I can about Pebbles or the Brava.